Hey everybody, welcome to the Infinite Regression. Yep, it's true. Uh, th this is what happens. This is what happens when you go fooling around on the internet. Eventually you end up here. And you'll regret it. But not until after you've watched me play video games. Ha 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 ha. So, uh, we are going to play this one called Space Guard 80. Uh, so hopefully... Hopefully my controller is all connected and whatnot and ready to roll. Hopefully it takes controller inputs. It looks like the sort of game, you know, looks like a uh, horizontal scrolling shooter. I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. We'll find out. Wait, where's game? Where'd game go? Oh, there's game. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a rocking soundtrack to start off with. I had to take it down a scotch just in case you're not able to hear me. Oh yeah, controller inputs. The Intergalactic Union is on the brink of collapse. The coalition of political reformers led by Conrad V, who aren't meant to save the galaxy from... Co who are meant to save it. Hmm. Who've come to power. See, skip button, that's good. You can skip this, I'm not going to. Oh, whoops, I did. Accidentally. Hold up. Get out of this. Oh, it's kitty cats. The fleet is destroyed. Let's try to find escape capsules in the debris. Indeed. Explore the shipwreck site. Yes. Let's. I'm clicking. Your space uh, guildings and tools. Wait. Uh, it's a distress call. The astronauts need your help. Yeah, well, let me, I, okay. How, what are, what are we not seeing here? Okay, I don't think it wants me to controller it. I think it wants me to keyboard and mouse it. Wait, what? Start. Okay. Oh, I recognize this music. Try, I'm having a hard time placing it exactly, but it seems like I've definitely heard this before. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Wait, what? I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly. Okay. Um, I need to not... Yeah, so this definitely is, like, you gotta mouse this up. Get the kitties. Yes! Okay. Wave two. Here we go. I need better weapons if that's gonna be the kind of thing I have to do. Okay. Get on board, kitties. Hopefully I get better weapons soon, like, because the weapons I have are trash. I mean... Oh, I start back over from wave one. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh no, kitty. What's this? Oh no, I'm just, oh. What? Okay. I gotta save the black ones. The black ones are the most important. Wait, what? The black ones are the most important kitties. Uh, 
Ach. Mein Leben. Which is German for my life. I think. Pretty sure. Because when you shoot those Nazis in Wolfenstein, you shoot them right in the life, and they're like, Ach, mein Leben! And you're like, yeah, that's right. I got you directly in your life, you darn Nazi. You can't go and be going around being a Nazi in this day and age. It's unseemly. Like, come on, Nazis, really? This day and age? Can't be doing that. Not cool. Ugh. This is kind of hard. Hold up. Yeah, let's quit the mission. Let's go... Do we have... Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I feel like... What's all this down here? Am I not seeing certain things? Wait, let's see. Okay. I, I don't know. Explore the shipwreck site. Okay. Difficulty one of three. Yeah, I'm having difficulty all of all. Because, like... Okay. I got one kitty. But I do think, like... Kitties are the future of space travel. I mean, if you've watched Red Dwarf, you will realize kitties are the future. Okay, got it. Aw, oh, what? <laughs> Dingus. Okay, now I got two more kitties to get. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I can get those two more kitties. Cause you know I love my kitties. No, no, no doubt about that. Like, if you didn't think I love my kitties, well then. Okay, one more kitty. And you don't know me at all. Yeah, this freaking guy. And his ridiculousness. Oh, God. Okay, this is just whipping right at me. Like, how am I supposed to handle that? God dang it. Like, you see how fast those are moving? They're just coming right at me, bro. Okay. Need two more kitties. Oh no, I missed him. Dang it. It's the last thing. And where do I spend these coins, pray tell? Like... Do you have to make it all the way through a level, probably? Because this is the first level and I should be doing better than I am it will stop being judgmental maybe for a second and maybe I will gosh I spent it with my uncle in Alaska hunting wolverines I'm sorry got him okay it's one kitty saved and as Benjamin Franklin tells us, a kitty saved is a kitty earned. So I earned that kitty. That kitty is mine. Okay. That, that's two. Okay, now those things are going to start flying at me like nobody's bleasness. And quite frankly, it is none of your bleasness. Like, why, why are you acting like is some of your bleasness? Like... 
What are you, from Bosnas? Oh, dang it. I got him, but I didn't... <sighs> Just trying too hard not to die here. Press to complete. Oh. All right. Uh, quick tour sheet. We need your help there. Okay. Quick to the point. To the point. No faking. Okay. Well, I I don't know how to get there. I'm clicking on it. Check out the main panel. Upgrade your weapons and ship. Okay, okay. Ooh. Alright, the... No. Okay. Um, and, and what's this? Um, okay. So I'm going to upgrade ship business first. Um, that all I can do? Okay. I got upgrade parameters, upgrade main weapon. Oh, okay. Yeah, upgrade my health. That would have been the first thing I would have upgraded. Uh, reload time. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Alright. High gravity. Uh, gravity is too strong to use the gun. Let's try to maneuver between the asteroids. Oh, it is a flying mode. Wait, hold up. Void obstacles and look for crapsules. Okay, we'll do. All right, that's one. Oh, dang it, dang it. Okay. more kitties. I gotta rescue these kitties. Oh, crap. Crap. Dang it. It's as if I was drawn to them and wanted to smash into them. But what it really is, is it's hard to not hit them at that point. Because, yeah, this guy is gonna be right down here. Okay. Oh, crap. Crap. Dang it. Mm. This really is a uh, cute little game, but like, it's also fairly hard is got a degree of difficulty that I am not prepared to meet obviously given the fact that I run into every little freaking thing ooh 
<laughs> yeah, I made it through the level. Boom. There we go. I get two more upgradables. AI Ray. There's an unknown cruiser ship among the debris of the ship. It does not look like a rescue ship. Oh, there's going to be enemies. I love how immediately after they let me um, upgrade things, the, they also are like... Um, okay, actually, I'm going to wait and save that. I'm going to save my... The, they, they gave me a level right after I... Up, up, oh, it's a boss battle. The uh how? -huh. Oh goodness. Oh, he's sending out the heat seeking business. I guess they don't seek heat that well. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Get wrecked, you missiles. That was a remarkably easy boss battle. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the first level is much harder. <laughs> Does that say seven or one? I think that says seven, which is good. Lucky cat. Okay. It was a Gringorian ship, but they've been peacemakers for a thousand years. What made them attack peaceful ships? Who knows? I've sent a message to Hank. Maybe he'll manage to find other reasons for the attack. He's a guru at finding information. Although, I'll t it'll take some time. I bet it will. Okay. Yeah, I do have a ton of up upgrades. Um... Okay, this is what I want, really want to upgrade. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Increase the strength of items and armor. Reduce super shot reload time. Uh, chances to cause crucial damage and get occasional prizes. Hmm. Let's see here. So I've got six left. Freezer. Some incendiary capability. Um, I like that. I think I'll just go here and here, and that's that's how we'll spend it. Okay, one more level, and then I'm gonna put a score on this. Ha ha ha. Okay. Don't worry, kitty. I'm coming for you. Got you, dude. Give me your coins. like a mine. Oh, freak. It's too focused on killing that guy that I lost track of cat of catching the kitty. Oh no. Okay, we do need to restart this. Come on. We need to focus. We need to focus on catching kitties and make those kitties feel warm and safe and loved. What is this space shooter if not a game that's really secretly about making kitties feel warm and safe and loved? I mean, name me one space shooter that's not about, like, helping kitties to have a happy, loving home. Come on. Name one. Oh, you didn't? Because you, you couldn't? Yeah, that's right. Okay, 
Let's get the kitty first. And let's shoot this freaking guy. And his nonsense. Oh! Okay, last try. I will say, like, the, uh... Um... Oh, you know what? Like, I need to try spending some of my coin. So I haven't done that. Like, after my next death, I'll see what some of those upgrades are all about. So I have not as yet done that. And so, like... Come on. Come on, Mrs. Whiskerton. Oh, no. Mrs. Whiskerton. I never thought it would happen to you like that. Um, ooh, I got trophies. I got whatever the freak this is. Storage. Open. Yeah, open. No keys. All right, well then, I guess I won't do anything with it. Okay, what's this? Oh, repair kit. Uh, raises a shockwave. Oh, self-targeting plasma gun. Uh-huh. Okay. What if I go for one of these? And for one of these? Ooh, and, and for one of these. Okay. Alright. Wait, is that the one that we've already done? Because I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah. That really didn't do much. I'm not necessarily glad I have the I spent money on it. Don't worry, mittens. We got you. We care about kitties in our part of the universe. I like these heathen areas where they maybe don't care about kitties as much. We do care about kitties. Ah, oh, some of the bench. Okay, let's let's leave. Okay. Um all right. Boom, there's the door. Let's exit to the main menu. It really gives you an almost Top Gun feel with the uh, intro. Ah, I got an achievement. I'm a gunner, apparently. Sweet. I did it. <laughs> First cash. All right. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to put a score on this one. Wait. Or will I? Because can I pause this? Keeps giving me achievements. Hold up. Okay. So, yes. Space Guard 80. We played some of that. Uh, you know, occasionally looked like what I knew what I was doing. Most of the time did not. Uh, but that's not new. If you are <laughs> new to this channel, you're like, oh, he doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. And it's like, um, yeah, I often don't. So <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, anyway, so yeah, the, uh, the fun thing is that, um, I, yeah, I, I really enjoy this game and it brings a new vibe to it. Now, 
I don't normally like shooters that force you to mouse and keyboard it. Because shooters, controller, right? You know, like everybody knows that. Um, I mean, you know, these side scrolling or the vertical type shooters, controller, right? That's how I prefer to play. That's how most games are set up to play. Uh, but this one is obviously designed for the mouse and the keyboard. And the interesting thing about it is that, like, it does something like, okay, I have, I cannot think of the name right now. Like, there is a mouse controlled shooter that I have that's like one of those Japanese semi naughty where it's like, you know, the girls get bits of their clothes shot off if you're not doing well. It's not like the adult ones where it's like, no, your goal is to shoot the girl's clothes off. It's like, no, no, you are the girl and you, uh, who is the pilot of the spaceship. And if your spaceship gets shot too many times, clothes start coming off, you know, only up to a certain point. Uh, no nudity or anything like that. Anyway, I can't remember the name of that game. Uh, but I have one of those that is controlled with the mouse. And it's almost appallingly easy. Because I was playing it with controller and I was like, man, this is really hard. And then um, I noticed I bumped my mouse and I was like, wait, you can control this with mouse? And then I realized like, oh no, this was designed for mouse. And then uh, all of a sudden I started kicking butt and taking names because it was so much easier with the mouse than it was uh, with any other control scheme. Anyway, um, so what uh, this game right here does that you really do not see with these type of games is it actually makes it reasonably hard um, with keyboard and mouse as your controls. Um, I mean, normally keyboard and mouse would be hard because you're going to be wrestling the controls the entire time. No, not here. Like, you're not wrestling the controls. The controls are fine. The game is hard. <laughs> like, it's, it's actually quite difficult. And, um, you know, it's very cutesy. It's very, like, you know, the whole kitty cats in space and, like, all of that. Um, it's very interesting, very cool. But, like, it's hard. It ain't an easy game. Like, from the word go, from the very first level where I kept dying and dying and dying again, it was like, I don't know if I'm going to find out. And the fact that they do not give you upgrade points until you've passed until you've actually passed the level so none of this business like in uh, sky force if you keep dying on a level at least you're collecting stars and then you're able to spend those on upgrades to make it easier for yourself to pass it the next time oh yeah space guard 80 nope <laughs> no such thing like you pass it as is you pass it in the ship you've got with the weapons you've got. Um, and if you can't do that, you just ain't going to do it. Not unless you learn how to get better at the game. So it's uh, that's not what you expect when you see like little cutesy, you know, cartoony uh, kitty cats in space kind of business. You know, like that's not what you expect, but that's what you get. And it's interesting. I, I really enjoyed it. It was a good time. So, Halloween Leftovers Budget Game Stravaganza 2021. Yeah, we're pushing to make sure that we finish this list of games. I've only got, like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven games left. Um, we, we just hit the Ides of November. Uh, I've got holidays coming up you know, uh, Thanksgiving and whatnot. And so, and also my suspension this week. Ooh, I get suspended for two days. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to be a whole thing. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's going to be a good time. Uh, so we're, yeah, I should be able to get a whole bunch of, uh, video game reviews in and whatnot. We'll just, Make that happen. But here's here's my score for Space Guard 80. 
Um, eight out of ten Reese's fast breaks. Now, why fast breaks? Uh, because they're new. I mean, they may not be that new. They may be like ten years old at this point. But I mean, they're new in the sense that they did not exist when I was a kid and have come out since I have been an adult. And so that means that they're new. <laughs> I mean, I became an adult technically. I became an adult like in 1998. <laughs> so like in the eyes of the law, I've been an adult since 1998. You do the math. You do the math. It's fine. Um, and then, yeah. So anything that has that has come out since 1998, brand new, brand new. You all, you young whippersnappers, if there are any whippersnappers within the sound of my voice, be prepared for that to be the case. You're gonna be sitting there like, oh, it's a 2021. That's brand new, and people are like, it's 2060 now, you moron. Like 2020 was 40 years ago. Yeah. Just be prepared for people to do that to you on a regular basis. Um, anyway, Reese's Fast Breaks. It's a delicious candy. I didn't expect it to be delicious, but they are. They're really good. And, you know, because normally, like, they take things like this and they're like, we're going to put nougat and pretzel and peanut and caramel and chocolate and strawberry and banana and, <laughs> like... We're going to put too many cooks in the kitchen. We're going to put too many flavors in the profile. We're just going to muck it about. And you're going to take one bite of it. Your taste buds are going to go into overload. And you're going to pass out. Like, that's how new, that's how normal new candy bars go. I got no time for them. I don't care for them. I don't know how I had my first fast break. But I was like, oh, that's good. Oh, that is delightful. <laughs> that is a delicious candied type bar. And so it is. So it is with Space Guard 80. Um, yeah, didn't know what to expect. I mean, shooters, there are a bajillion shooters in the world. Uh, Space Guard 80 brings something new. Uh, as the children say, it do be hitting different. It do. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this one. Uh, Space Guard 80 enjoyed it. Ooh, let's do this real quick. Let's just go to the let's go to the page, see how much it costs normally. Buck ninety nine. I mean, come on. You could do much worse. You could do much worse. Um, it's a good game. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself. And uh yeah, I I'll probably play it again sometime soon. Oh, by the way, update on another game. Let me let me just do this real quick. The, nobody will... Okay, that's the wrong... Uh, this. Okay. So, in a previous game I played... Or a previous review, I played Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. And I was like, am I not getting it? Wait, hold up. Sneeze. Two. Oh, this is a full-on dad sneeze. Good thing I'm a dad. Oh my god, look at this, bragging about its 6,666 achievements, aka an auto runner's paradise, or an auto com uh, auto achiever's paradise. Anyway, uh, this game right here, I was like, do I not get it? Am I not smart enough? Like, what's going on that I, that I am not doing well enough at this rubber ducky and the rainbow gun? Um, yeah, I, I had serious doubts and serious questions about like, maybe I wasn't in the right frame of mind and maybe I wasn't, you know, like lots of things that I was thinking to myself, like, come on, man, you got to give every game it's, uh, it's due. Well, I went back and played a little bit more of this and I could tell you, uh, it doesn't matter if I give it it's due or not. Like that game is freaking weird. And although I got the hang of it a little bit better, at least in terms of like what is and is not going to unlock a level, um, yeah, I I don't freaking know. Like I still don't freaking know, and I played it some more. It's a weird little game, and um, I still don't know how I feel about it. My feelings are like, you know, uh kitty training toilet full of 
posse stew, pretty much what that is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is it for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.